Our next speaker is no stranger to the queer community. They are an activist for the queer community, a proud mother of a drag performer in our scene, a DEI professional who embraces being 50 and enjoys challenging the stereotypes society has of aging women. Please join me in welcoming Andrea Schilar to the stage. Speaking of acts to follow. <laughs> okay. All right, I'm gonna start talking about authenticity and in full disclosure, I totally forgot my notes. I'm menopausal, I'm having a hot flash, and there is just an unsurmountable amount of menopausal rage that comes with being over 50. So there's my authenticity moment for today. I sent in a lovely presentation and then went back and reviewed it and thought, you know what, this would be really great if I was training a bunch of folks in a corporate boardroom. You know, if I was sitting down and talking to finance and was like, here's how you can be nice to people in the community, that's the presentation I built. So I sent in a new one, I started over, and here's where we're going to go. A few years ago, I had the opportunity to watch Robin Maynard, who is an author and a scholar and just an incredibly beautiful and intelligent woman, speak. And in that presentation, she said something along the lines of, if we are not authentic with ourselves, and in our homes, then we cannot be authentic in our communities, and our communities desperately need our authenticity. So I picked up all of these different pieces of myself, the angsty teenager, the kid that had just escaped sex trafficking, the baby queer, and the, and the, drag, the drag performer with an amazing, amazing Diana Ross. I picked them all back up. And I said, you know what, I want to give these folks a voice. Not that it had been quiet, not that they had been a secret, but I had let them go for so long that I had forgotten that they were part of me. And I thought, you know what, I need to bring those parts of me back out while I continue to honor the fact that I am 50 and I am still alive when so many times I should have been dead. So I took up a journey of authenticity. And I decided that I was going to reach not just into myself, but into my community and reconnect with folks and talk to people. And I've learned so much on this journey. And authenticity is challenging. It is challenging when we question ourselves. It is challenging when we start to take off these layers that we have held for so long that have protected us, that have helped us survive, but they have not helped us thrive and they have left us alone and isolated and not connected to other folks. And pulling off that mask is terrifying at times. And authenticity is a balance. It's that balance between that freedom of finally I get to be who I am and that terror of, oh my goodness, what have I left behind? What am I stepping into? What did I lose in all of those years that I wasn't myself? And so now we have to figure out that balance. And we tell our stories. I am telling my story. I have started speaking loudly about my story because when we tell our stories, there is power and there is connection and our stories help other people and they can bring other people together. And being authentic invites authenticity. So if I sit down and talk to you and I am very, very clear about who I am and I stand in my authenticity, guess what? You feel more comfortable talking to me about your story. You feel more comfortable talking to me and telling me what sits with you and what keeps you up at night. And there's a lot that keeps us up at night right now. The important thing is to embrace curiosity. There are things that I have figured out about myself in this time as I've been doing this journey of authenticity that I never even thought to question. I never even thought to look at. And I have embraced some curiosity and having conversations with others. Please tell me your stories. One of the things that I learned from my mom was to question, question, question. It drove me absolutely nuts when I was a kid, when she would say, well, why did you do it that way? Or tell me about this. Or how does that make you feel? I didn't want to talk about it, but now I so greatly understand the value of questions. And I want to learn as much as possible. I want to learn as much as possible about myself. I want to learn as much as possible about my community and other people. I want to learn as much as possible as I can about communities that I am not part of. And I could never possibly understand lived experience from. 
But when I talk to people, when I ask questions, I learn. And I have allowed room for mistakes because they lead to growth. I don't always say the right thing. And that's okay because I can pause and step back and say, you know what, I did wrong and I apologize. And this is where we lead to growth. And this is how it leads to growth in conversations with others. We have to extend grace. And we have to let others make mistakes. And we have to let ourselves make mistakes. Because that is where we grow. There is no point in beating ourselves up or beating other people up when they make mistakes. We, that does not bring anybody together. We extend grace when it is deserved. But some people don't deserve grace. And we stand up and we use our voices and we fight back. And we protect the young ones. We protect our youth. We protect the most marginalized in our community. We stand up for trans kids and we protect them. And on this journey, I have learned many, many different things. So where am I now? For now, I am out at work for the first time ever in Alberta. <laughs> I am the heaviest I have ever been in my life, and you know what? I fucking love it. I love it. As I mentioned, I am menopausal and rage-filled at some times, but guess what? The people that can't handle that have left, and I have found new people. I have surrounded myself with new community. I have surrounded myself with folks that elevate me and that I can help elevate, and I have found joy. I have found joy, even when we're standing at the front line of those protests, I have community, and I have people that I am connected to that I have never been connected to before. And it is brilliant. And we celebrate, and we show folks that guess what, we're not going anywhere, and not only are we not going anywhere, we are going to party, and we are going to celebrate, and we are gonna have so much fucking joy that you're gonna wanna be here and be part of this community. And that is how we're going to bring people along. We connect, we ask questions, we're authentic, and celebrate the shit out of our lives. Thank you. Woo!